you work with things like discounts, tax, that sort of thing. You got to know when you can combine uh, when you can combine percentages and when you can't combine percentages, right? You just worked out in the last section percentage of a number, so you're going to have to do that percentage of a number here. But you have to know when you're able to combine things and when you're not. Okay. So let's uh, start with a simple situation. You have something you're buying. What? Somebody tell me an item you might be buying at the store. A TV. How much does a TV cost? Do we want to keep it easy? A thousand? Actually, a thousand would work well. Let's make it. Let's make it a thousand because then we don't have to work too hard with the percentages. If you well, nowadays we have HST, but we're going to go back to GST and PST, two separate taxes. When they made the switch from P GST and PST to just a single tax, they just added the two taxes together. This used to be 5%. This used to be 7%. When they combined them to make the HST, they said, let's just make it 12%. Can you combine those two things together? Sometimes you can combine percents like this, and sometimes you can't. In this case, you can combine them because they're both percentages of the same thing. When you go to buy your TV, it costs $1,000. The two taxes separately, GST would be... How much would how much would five percent of that be? What's five percent of a thousand? Five percent of a thousand dollars. What's five percent of a thousand? It's more than that. It's more than that. It's more than five dollars. It's fifty dollars, right? That is fifty dollars. What is seven percent? Absolutely. $70. Those two amounts, they are percentages of the same thing. This is the key here. They're both percentages of 1,000. So you could just lump them together and say, I can just do 12% and then just do 12% of 1,000 instead. What is 12% of 1,000? 120, right? Since these are percentages of the same thing, you can lump the two percentages together, okay? So in that case, you can combine the percentages. I'm going to put down here. Can combine percentages. Because they're percentages of the same thing, they are percentages of the same number. Okay. If you have a situation where you have that same thousand dollar TV and it's on sale, if it's on sale for let's say thirty percent off, okay, if it's on sale for thirty percent off of off, if it's on sale for thirty percent off. But there is, let's say it's somewhere else here where, you have, where it's 10% tax, not here. Somewhere else, 10% tax. Can you combine those two percentages together? That's one of the, the big questions in this section is, can you combine? when can you combine percents and when can't you? What do you think? Like you're adding the 10% on the price, or you're taking off? Yeah, so the, the question is, yeah, wouldn't it make sense to say I'm taking off 20, but then I'm adding on 10, so no, I'm not taking off 20, I'm taking off 30. If I'm taking off 30 and adding on 10, you're going to say, wouldn't it make sense to just say, what's the simpler way to get it? Yeah, is is the, are those equivalent if you just took off 20% or if you took off 30 and then added 10? The answer is no, they're not the same. This is not the same thing. The reason is because what are you doing the 30% off of? You're doing 30% off of what number? The pricing of the TV, which is $1,000. But then when you do 10%, 10% uh, uh, of what number? What number are you doing 10% of? Are you doing it of $1,000? If the TV is 70 is 30% off, do you pay tax still on the entire full price? No, you just you just pay tax on what you pay, right? 
Are you paying a thousand dollars for the TV? No. You're not paying a thousand dollars. How much are you paying actually? If thirty percent off, how much are you paying? You're paying seven hundred dollars. These are different amounts, right? This is thirty percent of a thousand. This is ten percent of seven hundred. They're percentages of different amounts. You cannot combine them. Okay. I'll write it the way I did up above there. We're going to put cannot combine. Because they're percentages of different things. This is an important idea you should write down somewhere. Okay. Percentages of different numbers. Okay, percentages of different values, you can't combine them. All right, if you want a visual for what it is here, if you want a visual for what we have here, here's the, whoops, um, here's the price of the TV, $1,000, right? That is 100% of the original price, right? If you if you add on the tax, you add on um, what did we have five percent and seven percent fifty dollars seventy dollars those two added on amounts are of the same same price here right you're adding on two you're adding on two numbers to the percentages of the original amount whereas the the other one you start at a thousand minus thirty percent of 1,000, but then when you add on 10%, it's plus 10% of 700, right? Because this gets you down to 700. What's 10% of 700? Where are you going to end up here? What number are you going to end up at? So you start with 1,000, you take off 30%, you get to 700. You add on 10%. What's 10% of 700? You can do this now, right? 70, right? So you end up with what's the total cost here? 770. 770 is what it is, right? If you take off 30% but then add on 10% tax, what you said before was, well, couldn't we just take off 20%? If I take 1,000 and take off 20%, what does that give me? If I start with 1,000 but take off 20%, where does that get me to? What's 20% of 1,000? It's 200, right? Because 10% is 100 bucks. 20% is 200. So this would get me to 800. You notice these are not the same number, right? If I take off 20% of 1,000, I get to 800. Whereas if I take off 30% of 1,000 and then add on 10% to my 700, I only get to 770. They're different numbers. That is a really hard concept to get. They're percentages of different numbers, all right? So that's that's one of the important things to know in this unit is when can you combine percentages and when can't you? Question? And like, tax goes to the government. Tax goes to the government, absolutely. Oh, so that's another reason you can't combine them? Yeah. Because they're going to different places? Yeah. It's entirely possible. Um, one other thing I want to show you <clears throat> is how to do things the, the quick way and maybe the, the slow way. So, um, slow way of calculating total cost. Okay, and then I'm going to tell you the fast way of calculating, the quick way of calculating total cost. You should probably write this down somewhere, I would say. Total cost. Okay, here's a slow way. Let's say you are doing your, uh, you're calculating something. We'll make the numbers a little bit harder to work with here. Let's say you have something that is 35% off. And the price is, I'm showing you the slow way first. I want to show you the slow way so you can say that's pretty slow. This is so slow. Uh, what's the price of this item? $170. Okay. 
So let's say you have something that costs $170, you're taking off 35%. Here's the slow way. You need to figure out what 35% is first, right? 35% of 170. 0.35 times 170. What does that give me? 0.35 times 170. What is 0.35 times 170? Anybody have their calculator? I'll do it. That number is called the discount. That's the amount, the discount amount. 59.5 is $59.50. Is that the answer to the question? What's the total cost? If I want to know the total cost, what do I have to do now to figure out the total cost? What do I have to do? That's the that's the discount. This is called the discount. What do we need to do? Yeah, subtract the thing, right? Take the original price. Okay, so that's original price. Take the discount, which is 59.50, and subtract it. Discount. This is the sale price. What does that give you? If you take that away, it's it's one hundred dollars and no, it's not. It's one hundred and ten dollars and fifty cents, right? One hundred ten dollars and fifty cents. You agree with that? How many things did I have to do? How many calculations did I have to do? First, I had to figure out what the discount was. And then I had to do another calculation to figure out what the total cost was. This is two calculations, right? Or two steps, if you want to call it that. The fast way is only going to involve one step because one of the steps you can do in your head, this is what it involves. It involves you thinking a little bit at the beginning here, okay? Here's you thinking. 35% off means I pay what percent? If you take off 35%, well, here's the cost. If you take away 35% minus 35%, what percent are you left with? 65% remains. Means I pay 65%. That's the key to doing the quick way, which I would like you to, which I would like you to learn, because then you can do it in one step. Then you can figure out right away that the sale price is 65% of the regular price. The sale price is 65% of the regular price. 65% of $170. 0.65 times 170, what does that give me? Because before I had to do this, right? There's my two steps. This time I can just do it one way. I can just go 0.65 times 170. And it gives me the cost in one single step. Does everybody understand that? If you're going to take off 35%, it's easier just to calculate what 65% is. This is a single step. This first part is two steps. Okay? 110, whoops, 50. Does that make some sense to you? Do you see why this one's called the quick way and this way is the slow way? This one is one single step. Okay? One single step gets you to your answer instead of two steps, which I would like you to do. You can do it for adding on tax as well. If you wanted to figure out the tax on something, let's say you have your item that costs, I don't know, $250 plus 12% tax. The slow way would be to figure out 12% of 250 equals some number, and then go down here and say 250 plus some number equals my answer. The quick way is going to be to do, uh, to do what? What percentage do you pay? If you start with 
$250, that's 100%. If I'm going to add on 12% tax onto the top of that, 12% tax, what percentage do I pay in the end? I start with 100%. I add on 12%. I am just going to pay. So again, you have to think here. This is you thinking. I pay 112% of the cost. 112% of the cost. You can get it in one step then. You can just say 112% of 250. That gets you to your answer in one single step. This way over here takes two steps. This you can get it in one single step. You can combine percentages in that case. Okay?